Hello honeys, welcome back to my channel. It is Ashley here and in today's video we are doing a super exciting video. We are doing my DIY wall collage on my filming wall, which I'm super excited about. Um, I got this inspiration from YouTube, TikTok, definitely TikTok. I watch so many TikToks, um, as well as the Tezza wall collage kits that she has on her website. Um, they are $90 and I just really wanted a more affordable version of this. Um, obviously that's like already, it was so much easier to like probably buy a kit because everything was like already curated for you versus like happening on Pinterest and like scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, but it was, it was a lot of fun and it was well worth it. So with that being said, I'm gonna get right on into it. I opted for like no makeup and just my eyebrows because honestly, I'm just doing this today and I don't really want, I didn't want to put a lot of makeup on for this video. I am really happy with how my skin looks. So yeah, and half the video, majority of the video is gonna be you looking at me putting this up on the wall and then coming back. <laughs> so yeah, so we're just gonna go with it. Let's go ahead and get to it. <laughs> so I, when I was looking at like ways to make it less expensive doing this wall collage, I, and it's so funny that this is like coming back because I remember being like 15 and maybe even younger, like taking magazine like pages out and like sticking them on my wall. I remember doing that. And I remember it being like such a big thing that like, you used to put like celebrities on your wall and all that stuff. And it's kind of the same, <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. It's so crazy everything comes like full circle. But <laughs> I used Pinterest to curate my pictures for this wall. I really wanted something I wanted pictures that were like very aesthetically pleasing, um, very girly, motivational quotes, um, pinks, uh, peaches, and neutral colors and everything. So for me, it was, it took me a long time. I mean, it probably took me like, a, probably a day or two just to curate everything that I wanted. And I printed out 75 photos. But with that being said, I bet you're wondering, how did you print the photos? A lot of it was, using free prints. This is an amazing company. They allow you to print up to 85 free prints a month. They look like they come in envelopes like this. And they, it's an incredible company. I use it almost every month to print out photos of my, of like my life, trips I've been on. Um, I have like four or five photo albums in our house. I'm obsessed with photos. I think they really like capture just memories so I can like flip through them when I want to remember something. Free prints is the best way to go, I think. I paid $10 for 75 prints. All you're gonna pay is shipping. I have like a few other apps, but I'll just like put them here, but they, it's an amazing app. Um, but yeah, so I got all of these photos and I waited a week or so to get them in the mail. So I'm actually going to zoom you guys in on these photos cause they are so pretty, they're so pretty. one with my best friend. Just like some whites and grays in there. Yeah. I'm like super happy with how they turned out. They turned out really well, so. So, pretty much all of these are just gonna be like girly quotes. Leonardo DiCaprio, cause you can't, you can't not. I mean, let's be real here. Um, just like a lot of just girly, girly print. I'm super excited to have those and then I have some tape. So we're gonna see if the tape works. If not, <laughs> then I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing. So I'm thinking of doing all the way up there, down, and we'll see if I have enough photos. Hopefully I do. But, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and kind of organize them to where they're like the same shades of colors. So I'll put all of my like neutral ones together, like my beachy ones, the peach ones, and the pink ones all together, and then the black and whites like here and there, just to add a little like contrast. I don't know how we're gonna, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, so. So 
This is the empty wall, and I went ahead and took off everything off of my my vanity, um, and that way I could just like stand on it. So, <laughs> kids, don't try this at home. It's probably super dangerous. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna fall, but you know, we might get a funny, funny little blue. <laughs> All right, so I actually went on and found my double-sided tape. So I'm super excited about that because that makes this job incredibly, like so much easier than what it would have been. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna just hopefully do this quickly. Hopefully it don't take an absolute eternity. So. Okay, so it doesn't look like the double-sided tape is working. It's not as strong as I would like it to be. So I think I'm gonna try and do regular tape, like like heavy duty, like packing tape, and we'll see like if I can make that work. Cause I don't know. Okay, so I think I found the solution. I'm just gonna use blue painters tape for the back of them because meant to be on walls uh, that you know you paint on so I think this will actually work I used it on one of, I used it on the Balenciaga black and white one so I think I think it's gonna work I think it's gonna work Look at it. It's coming along. I'm excited. This is great. It looks so good. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really suck at DIYs, so like this is like it makes me makes my heart happy that I was able to do this on my own. So I am almost done. I'm gonna do this, these six here. Um, and these ones, not really like my favorite, but I feel like I'm, I need it to match on both sides, so. I am going to end up just going all the way around. But it is a ginormous wall. 
um, as you guys can see. But So the entire project, I think, took me about two and a half hours, and that's just because I'm, I was trying to make it as straight as possible, but it's really hard without like a level, and I just didn't have one in my room. Um, and I don't really know when, where one is in the house, so there's that. But, and I, the double-sided tape does not work. Tape, regular tape does not work on these photos. Um, so I used painter's tape. I used just like two, two little things of painter's tape on the back of them, and they worked really well. They still were movable, so I could still move around. And in the long run, it won't destroy the photos when I switch them out here and there. So right now, I really, really like it. They are matte photos, but I still get a little bit of lights or like shine on them. Not really sure why. Um, it might just be my lighting setup right now, because right now I only have my soft boxes in natural light. I don't have anything else. So I think that's mainly why it's doing what it's doing right now. I don't know. I think the soft boxes are just like directly on it. But besides the point, this project only cost me $10. All right y'all, so that pretty much concludes this entire wall collage. This did take me two and a half hours. It was super quick. It was super easy, honestly. Um, I used painter's tape instead of tape because that just did not work. And yeah, because otherwise they were just gonna fall off everywhere. And yeah, so if you guys love this video, definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the little notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye.